All right, what's going on, guys? Trey back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about Halt the Agents of Smash. So this is going to be a new cartoon series that's going to air on Disney XD starting next year. It'll be in um, early 2013, as you can see from the thumbnail image there. It looks like it's going to be sort of an uh, Ed McGuinness-inspired uh, art style. You have, uh, just in, in the few images that have been released so far, we know for sure we're going to have the classic, you know, uh, Bruce Banner Hulk. Green Hulk, um, and they're going to have a lot of other characters that we've never seen in a cartoon show really before. Um, we're going to have uh, Red Hulk, who is a fairly new character. I mean, he's only been around for, how long has it been now, four or five years, six years, seven years? It, it, he's not that old, okay? And most of these characters are not that old. They've only been around for, you know, a, a little while compared to most comic book characters that have been around for a long time, you know, like a lot of the Avengers villains or X-Men and all that stuff been around for over 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Um, there's also going to be Abomination, um, uh, Scar, She-Hulk, uh, Doc, Doc Samson, uh, and who else? I think that's pretty much it from what we've seen so far. And maybe a couple other characters too. Um, and But pretty much it looks like what it's going to be is uh, a Hulk uh, cartoon that's sort of modern based in, in the comic book so in the modern continuity uh, of the last maybe five six years so it'll probably include a lot of the stuff that uh, you know is going on right now in the Hulk comic books which is really cool um, I think it's been a while since we have really had a good Marvel series that really sticks close to what's currently going on in the comic books uh, I hope the Avengers series that's airing as well will do the same where they kind of have some uh, themes like Civil War and different things that had been, you know, going on in the comic books, um, you know, in the last like five or six years and include them in the cartoon show. I mean, you could have the storyline verbatim. I just want to see it animated. You know, I'd love to see Dark Reign animated. I'd love to see a lot of these things animated. So anytime Marvel takes some of their more recent stuff and puts them into a cartoon series, I'd, I'd love to see it. So this show looks very cool. Uh, I love uh, Ed McGinnis's art style, obviously. Incredible Hulk is a really uh, fun character. I think probably the reason why they decided to do this is uh, just based on the popularity of the Avengers movie. And, of course, you know, Hulk in that movie kind of steals the show at the end. I mean, not completely. Like, they all get their chance. You could you could argue the same for Iron Man where he, you know, um, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the movie. Everyone's seen the movie now. Um, just a second. Uh, Iron Man, where he uh, sort of takes the missile and uh, or the yeah the nuke and and you know uh, forces it up through the um, uh, wormhole or whatever so to speak. Um, but you know the Hulk got a lot of really cool moments in the Avengers movie, so I think it makes sense they're going to try to do uh, a cartoon show. And you never get enough good Marvel cartoons. I mean, you can never get enough. Um, so it sounds like it, they're probably going to put it as part of a block with um, Ultimate Spider-Man and. Um, uh, the new Avengers Assemble cartoon. So, uh, being as that it will be a part of like a Marvel block, I think it'll work. Um, you know, I, how long this will last for, I don't know. Uh, Paul Dini's going to be involved, and he's fantastic. He's been involved, if you don't know who he is, in a lot of the DC uh, cartoons of the last 20, 30 years that have been really good. He's been involved with Justice League and Batman and all kinds of other stuff uh, that he's worked on. And he's probably one of the most talented guys there is when it comes to uh, creating good North American cartoons. Uh, he's got really funny writing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure the series will be a lot of fun. Uh, how long it lasts for? I don't know. I I'd be surprised if it lasts longer than two seasons. Um, it, it might not. It might only last one season. But it, you know, it's hard to say because the popularity of the Avengers right now is crazy with the movie. There's. It's going to be part of a block, so it's not going to be by itself. It'll be part of a cartoon block. So you know, most people that want to see the Avengers. If this is just before Avengers uh, or just before Spider-Man or whatever, people will probably tune in and watch all three of them, you know, uh, when they air. So I think it's a good idea. I think it'd be a lot of fun to see the show, and uh, I'm excited to see it next year. Looks like a lot of fun. Can never get enough Hulk. So uh, cool. Let me know what you guys think about it, and uh, if you'll be watching it or not. Also, uh, what you think about the idea of, you know, creating the cartoons but making them more current. So bringing in a lot of the stuff that's happened in the last five, six, seven years. I think that that could really make the cartoon series that are going on a lot better if they, you know, be, you know, stay closer to what's been going on in the Marvel U for the last little while. Anyway, that's my take on it. See you guys. Peace.